What, what was that thing that I said at the start of every video? Oh, what's up guys? How you doing? Boy, you can't even see anything. That's better. So, guys, maybe some of you remember that... Um, that... Uh, stupid camera? Why does that point downwards? Access granted. That I got a gear wet. I mean, we got a gear wet. Okay. So this is kind of a follow-up episode, I guess, to the first one where we dragged this thing here, because the thing does not move on its own. Now you guys had some um, great insight, gave me some tips on uh, what might be the issue on this thing. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna reach that far in this video. It's gonna take a while, I'm sure. Before we actually deal with that issue, I do have a lot of stuff planned out. So consider this the first episode of uh, fixing that thing up. The first first episode was sort of a welcome to the party type of episode. So that does not count. So let's just stop wasting time. Uh, let's let's go check out the list. Yes, I did make a list for it. I'm pretty sure it's not complete yet and uh, might need to add some stuff to it. So I got the list right here. Let's quickly go through it. And what's what? So first of all, we got to clean the machine. Maybe we'll find some gold. Obviously need to pressure wash it because, you know, reasons. So when I fired this thing up last time, I noticed two things. Firstly, it was spewing out coolant or water from the top and spewing out oil from the bottom. So we definitely got to batch the thing up. You cannot operate the tractor if it's just um, bleeding all over the place. Eventually it will stop bleeding and just kind of die. Can't have that. So once we fix the water leaking issues, uh, we got to add some Mountain Dew to it and maybe flush the system. After that, let's try to start up the engine again. See if we can find any more leaks and uh, Oh yeah, I, I got to remember this one. I have to test the hydraulics before I turn off the engine. So I most likely will forget that. Uh, I can't really help. Problem is up here. Beyond that, we got the engine oil, oil filter, hydraulic stuff, air stuff, fuel stuff, gearbox stuff, differential st stuff. No idea. Pudding definitely would go for some pudding right now. Then number 17 will try to figure out why the thing does not move. I mean if we reach that far we should be able to nicely let the engine run idle and try to sort of uh, figure stuff out. But if I won't be able to fix it or learn anything then we'll move on got to fix the spark issue thing um, has zero spark maybe it has something to do with this stuff i have no idea what this is let's put it mildly looks like a grounding wire that's supposed to be connected somewhere maybe mean pile of crap then we'll need to check for brakes. This thing does has air brakes on it. Billion percent sure they don't work. Beyond that, gonna try to figure out how to check the king king pin. King pin. Uh, oh, there's two of them. Hot dang. Two king pings. Uh, maybe one of them is a queen, I don't know how that royal stuff works. Then you're welcome to the hood, guys, because the thing is about to fall off. Talking about that hood, by the way, I remember that one hinge was just about to break off, so got to fix that. <sighs> Anchor points, yeah. Thing has none. Uh, under the hood there, 
it should have two anchor points. I can just show you on Joseph quickly what it's supposed to have. So it's supposed to have this type of hook there. Maybe the same, maybe slightly smaller. I'm not really sure about that. But instead of those hooks, it just has a hole. Hole in the frame. No idea how that happened. In order to pull those off, this thing had to be in some deep doo-doo. You don't pull those anchor points off very easily. PTO. Still have no information on that. Although some of you had some ideas. Okay, rear three pointer. Yeah, pretty sure that's okay. Um, mend the body. I mean, what are you talking about? This body is perfect. I mean, check this uh, weight reduction technology that we got going on here. Yeah, bunch of weight reduction going on. Who am I kidding? I need to fix that crap. So, what else we have here? Fix the chair. That is actually a pretty good chair. I just need to cover it up with something. It bounces up and down very well. Good uses for a lot of stuff. Hydraulic cap hydraulic levers. So yeah, I need to figure those out. Fix the lights, man. Sure, bro, I will fix the lights. Anything else you forgot? 100% yes. Being chop. Can't wait for that bit. And did I reach the end? Probably when I'm like 70 or something. Or just dead. And I have some extra ideas here as well, which we we'll might look into in my next life, I mean, because I won't be able to finish this project in time. So if you guys have some ideas as well, which do not overlap these ideas, then throw them down in the comments section. But uh, let's just get to work. Let's look for treasure. Treasure that way. Where am I going? The most likely there is no treasure outside. Apart from uh, grease, dirt, couple of dead squirrels. Maybe somewhere. Is this supposed to be an air tank? Bro, it's like paper thin. Guess it's fine. Okay, I'm pretty sure there is no treasure out here. Maybe apart from that hydraulic hose. Yeah, man, that looks fine. Rated for infinite PSI. No! Why are you going downwards, but not upwards? I don't need any birds in here, man. of crap man okay um okay well i'm gonna just empty the gap outside somewhere see what's what That's about it. Doesn't look like much, but uh, it's gonna keep my hopes up. So, what do we have? We use some Russian vodka. That's useful. This is the thing that goes around uh, the front headlights. I think it was missing on one side. Voila! I think it looks like 10% better now. What a bunch of eight, man. Might be useful. Some type of lever. Well, I'm missing a bunch of levers from the gap, so maybe, maybe I need this. Another lever. Oh. Fully intact rubber thing. Very useful. Thing does not even break. Made in EU. 
point wiring Soviet IKEA furniture kitchen cabinet Whoa. not bad Whoa. brand new man probably never gonna use it but wow 40 watts not bad wonder how that happened maybe this is why the thing does not have any anchors on it electrode rod do you think it's still usable i'm thinking maybe half of it is perhaps at 400 amps no you know i had a pipe that was busted down there probably can use this to repair it fuel oil petrol pump hose anti-static already got spare parts for the thing thermostat you know maybe this works i don't know gonna keep it just in case wow check it out guys we got a primer bump we got the primer bump probably broken that's why it's that's why it's in my hands right now but maybe it works no, my, my dozer it does not have a priming pump maybe i can hook it up there maybe you know i think this is that uh, cancer gasket material the type of casket material that is just full of asbestos correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's that's the case here very good stuff oh and we got more of it tools i love tools some type of a workbook check it out So this is uh, usually mm, it's in Estonian. It's in a lot of a lot of fixes. Vacation that that translates to vacation. Fixing the Audi water mill build. Bunch of um, bunch of fixes noted down on here. Isn't that a BMW? Some model of it. G seven hundred and one guys. Some type of a cleanup job. T150. That's like a that's like a smaller version of this thing, but it looks almost the same. Baby brother type of deal. Some type of a tractor or or truck repair book. It's this does not look good. The oil pressure is not even zero. It's below zero. But now it's fixed. Now, this is probably the only thing that has a slight chance of still working. Found one more. Check it out, a med kit. Pretty sure these uh, these are not sterile anymore. Wonder what this is. Starter motor man. Sadly. No treasure. Did not find any gold. Not off to a great start. Okay, so no treasure. This investment already kind of sucks. Next up, gotta get rid of that poop smell.
I just think there's not enough water flow. And there's some type of uh, fancy sensor in there telling the pump to not do anything if the water flow does not meet my number. Or maybe it's just broken. I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, overall, it's a pretty good little washer, but the uh, thing is like a Mercedes. If you like, I don't know, fart next to it, it will throw up a bunch of fault codes. And it will not work. So I'm trying this method that uh, a, a quick Google brought up. Apparently there is some type of an airlock. And if that's the case, then the bump just won't turn on. Piece of crap still does not work. Well, at least I have that garbage. That thing will always work. Cost like 40 or 50 bucks, man. Six years old. Still works. The only issue is that it's not as powerful and the hose is like two inches long. But guess it will have to do. seems to be hopeless. Well, at least I will get uh, some stuff off. Now, I did explore the opportunity to rent a um, hot water pressure washer. Two things with that, though. It requires three-phase power, which I have. But uh, the closest plug is in the workshop. So about 40 meters away. And for some reason, 20 meters of three-phase extension gourd costs like $150. So that makes no sense. There's maybe like 40 bucks of wire there and around 10 bucks in the blocks. So why is it like three times more expensive than it would be to make it? Let's just imagine 300 bucks for the extension to reach here. So the rental cost was nothing really. It was about $50. But the water pressure at this point is not enough for that thing anyway. So I would need to get a water tank, which would supply water to that washer. I'm guessing it needs a lot. So probably looking at like 400, maybe 500 bucks. Yeah, that, that seems like a lot. Just to wash the thing. Buying a hot water pressure washer makes no sense. The thing is like four grand. Just to use it once or twice per year makes no sense. I'd rather buy another gigawatt than, uh, than a hot water pressure washer. So I'm gonna use that thing uh, to go over the machine. It's gonna take forever, I know, and it's not gonna clean it fully. But at least I will get most of the gunk off. And by the time I reach the end of this project, when I need to paint it, then I will definitely rent the hot water pressure washer. I just need to sort out two things. I need to get a separate water tank and uh, just make my own extension gourd, I guess. Maybe my Santa can bring me something. But uh, be right back, I need to do that bit.
Oh man. I'm just gonna outright say it. What a fat ass. Such a fat ass. Nice booty. This thing has never let me down. That's a bro right there. Okay, well, I'm pretty much... Pretty much looks the same. The most annoying part for the gab. Maybe like 3%. Better. But it's fine. It's fine for now. At least uh, I can sort of start working on it. By the way, while I was doing that thing, I already managed to solve one of my hot water pressure washer issues. So a buddy of mine uh, came for a visit and he brought some two containers with him. I think even one of them has something in it. Huh. Okay. May not look like a lot. There's probably like five liters there. Ching. So I can use one of these instead of having a water line. Now I just need to resolve the overly briced extension gourd issue. But until we deal with that, let's, let's continue the work. Totally forgot about the soap. At least we had some water. Definitely not at those pressures. It still kind of smells like poop and it definitely looks like crap. But I'm gonna check this. Just because I can. I'm allowed to cheat. So next issue... Oh yeah, those things. <sighs> Start off with the expansion tank. I think that had some holes in it. Yep. Also up here it doesn't look that great. I would probably be able to batch it up, but um, before I do that, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make a new tank. Maybe we will succeed. I think it's very close. I think it's very close. Bottom bolt gave up. There's much treasure in here. And I definitely need to flush the system 100%. Thing is probably filled with rust. Mm. Yeah, as much as I would like to use it. Okay, well, let's try and make a new one. First try will probably be a fail.
And I believe this will work. Somehow I did mess up, but I think it's fine. Tiny holes I got here. Guess we'll see later. Overall, not bad, but this corner kind of warped inwards slightly. I think it's not going to be an issue, but it's going to lame. Yeah. Let's do the ends now. Well, at first glance, I can't see any holes. It's pretty, pretty dark in here. Scary. Don't think that's getting any better. That's actually not half bad. Looks pretty good. I still wonder how many leaks this thing has though. Because I'm pretty sure there are some holes somewhere. Nice. Yeah man, this thing has no spatter almost. It's like one, two, three, four and a half. And this is all worse. I just uh, tweaked the um, Wall touch down a bit. Seem to have done a trick. So I need that not sure that that and I uh, also need to install some type of a uh, radiator cap on it. So maybe I don't um, need that. I'm just gonna do that. I'm not really sure how the um, original setup is. I'm sure it's in the book somewhere. Pretty detailedly explained here where the liquid kind of goes. So according to the book, it's a closed cooling system, uh, and uh, this thing is an expansion tank. The number fifteen is the lead. So if you're out of fuel, you can refill it. And the number fourteen, number fourteen. Um, I guess it's like a um, overpressure valve or something. I have no idea what that valve even looks like. But I figured I could use this as like a do in one solution. So I could use it as a refill hole and also and also to sort out the overpressure issue. Now I think this idea should work. I just gotta install it here somehow. It may have an idea. Not sure. Maybe. Hmm. 
Vaku tiher kõik on meid ära. Oh, by the way, I couldn't find a cover for this thing. I'm sure it's somewhere. Good, you could have bought it. It's pretty easy. Okay, now what? No idea, man. Man, this Weirdest hack job I've ever done, but it does work. It does tighten nicely. Stay shut. Yeah. Works pretty well. Bad thing though, I can make it better. Here's a plot twist though. Whenever I think I can make something better, I just usually screw it up. Moment of truth, people. I filled it about halfway. Should be somewhere here. You know, at first glance, it seems pretty good. I don't see any wet spots. I'm thinking though, maybe I messed up with this thing. Yeah, I don't feel that spring effect when uh, I'm putting the lid on. It's just kind of, just kind of goes on there. I think that's a bit too deep. It's a piece of crap.
one leak there. Another one there. And so far, two leaks. What about the lead though? Yeah. So I need to push the lead down so the spring would do that. I think uh hmm. maybe I can just add a washer there. Just kinda try to weld it in there somehow. You camera, stop! Dancing man, there's no time to dance fool. Definitely feel that spring effect now. Just gotta weld that thing in there. Mm, should work. Actually guys, I've been at it for at least two hours now. I can safely say that I am totally annoyed right now. Uh, all in all, there weren't many holes, but Actually, the crappier weld, it sealed a lot better than, uh, than what I did. Than what I did here, on this spot. I had to literally put like a mountain of weld here. And I think it still kind of leaks from small tiny holes. And this side was overall pretty good, except these two spots. There's a tiny holes, but uh, I just kept adding weld and weld and weld. And on this side, I just kind of went full circle. This came out pretty good. The lead, though. You better run. So I added the washer there and a bit of weld, but apparently that weld prevented from making a nice contact with this uh, rubber seal. So I had to hole saw that weld away with uh, several different size of hole saws. I... <laughs> Yeah, what a bunch of pain that was. But I don't have still a perfect seal on this ring. It still very slightly leaks. Or maybe not. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Still slightly leaks. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to fix that. Maybe this design is just not great. I'm gonna keep this for now. It's almost complete. Uh, I just need, need to add four train pipes. Drill press. I love it. to stop being on the floor.
guys just need the mounting brackets now thinking uh, I'm gonna make these myself as well should be okay if I use the same material I think it came out great it's not perfect that's for sure but maybe this will work so one thing's for sure though uh, if, if this does not work I'm not gonna make another one spent way too much time on this it's just too much effort too much work man Mountains of weld and mountains of paint on it will surely keep them leagues away. Man, this looks really crusty. Like well best do well all in all I could you know replace it in a steel pipe with uh, this thing the problem is that uh, I could not find the correct tubing so sadly I could not locate a single piece so I could just use this instead of a steel pipe maybe on uh, the one side I could use it but not on this side because of that thing there and the coolant goes into the compressor housing I'm not really sure what it does there but uh, from this port directly into the compressor so obviously I can't build anything here so we have to make at least one pipe is getting wrecked. I think the die for it is just slightly too big. <laughs> well, 
the profile is almost correct. But I got a pretty bad kink in there. I was kind of hoping this would not happen. Man, that looks like horse manure. Let's scratch that, that's even better. This is total crap. Yeah, I would say my second attempt came out a bit better. All in all though, I don't think I can get really good pens with that type of pipe bender. But it's definitely good enough, should work. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, this sucks. This sucks like a lot. And it looks like only one of them is going on the iffy side. So I'm gonna keep the... Should be fine. Man, this block is huge. It's bigger than my toilet. Bye bye! Oh, I'm gonna love this project because I will never finish it. It's gonna rust into the ground before I can finish it. Not fall down there, please. Yes. Man, fingers are freezing up. I even have these uh, gloves under there, but still, oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, I definitely need to do some sort of an upgrade to the Weber heater thing. You guys gave me some ideas. I'm thinking I'm gonna dry some of them out. I'm kind of losing a lot of heat this way. Uh, I could use it, make it more efficient. But overall, the heater, man, it's really great. Well, at least those holes nicely match up. Now I would love to put 
that beast there, but I don't think that's good. You know, I just got an idea. Instead of making the pipe bend from uh, two spots that are very close to each other, which by the way was really hard on that press, maybe I just make the single bend and use this as a second bend. I think that would be a better option. Ah, this should work. This side is a bit more iffy though, because of uh, this line, which goes into the compressor. You know, I should probably paint these pipes as well. But uh, man, they're, these pipes they're four millimeters or five. So it's gonna last longer than I will, even if I don't paint them. I can already see a problem here. So this mounting spot, it, sh it should have these uh, rubber washers for uh, vibration. And uh, one of them should be up there and another one should be in the middle there. But clearly I don't have enough room in that area. So I'm just gonna put them both up here for now because I do need to remove this well, that entire area and who knows maybe even I need to get the radiator off so I'm just gonna put it like so for now So for the coolant, for this uh, cooling system, I was recommended to put this thing. I wouldn't even know what the English uh, word for that thing is. I guess that's some uh, Russian brand of uh, coolant. And that's, that's all I care about. Minus 40. That's really all I care about. Well, I did not expect this to leak. I guess it was not doing that great. That's what I get for trying to reuse stuff, right? My own fault, really. By the way, I have an idea for this. Might work. I've used this idea before and uh, it worked wonderfully well. Just gonna make the pipe a bit thicker with this stuff.
No, I shouldn't be full. I put maybe like 45 liters in the thing. The book says 65 liters. It shouldn't be full right now. Looks like I'm missing like 20 liters of capacity. The book clearly says 65 liters. And I only put 25 plus 20. And I'm pretty sure the expansion tank, it should not be full. It should be somewhere in the middle there. Hence why it's called the expansion tank. So the coolant can expand. Man, this thing is like a freaking cheese. Looks like it's leaking from everywhere. Well, honestly, I did spill a bunch of coolant there, so maybe it's just kind of leaking down from here. Seems about right. Now, I do plan to completely flush the radiator, but not right now, not during the winter time. So I need to drain it again, but I figured maybe it's a good idea to have the coolant in the system. The coolant itself, it ha does have anti-corrosion abilities. So that's the main reason I figured it's a good idea to fill it for the winter time. But if the thing just kind of leaks out from everywhere, then uh, yeah, then I'm most likely just gonna drain it and try to fix the leaks next year. Right now I got that sealed, that seems to be also dry. It did leak from somewhere there, which is kind of question mark right now. And maybe it has some other leaky spots. Well basically I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. If it starts to leak, I'm just gonna drain the whole system. I think there was some other leak down below, let's go fix that. Yeah, that looks pretty barged. What the crap, man? This is wrong size again. Freaking assholes, man. This is the last time I'm going to that stupid store. Maybe this will work. Oh, this might work as well. Not know until I dry, I guess. 18 millimeters, guys. How could you mess it up, man? Clearly like 20. 18. Wow. Well, at least I'm not the only one who can't read numbers. So that's great. By the way, guys, check this out. There's this really weird weather effect right now. The entire sky is just red or orange. Not sure what's going on. But uh, anyway, there's this one more thing that I want to do before I uh, wrap this episode up. Some of you pointed it out in the comments, but uh, for those who don't know, then uh, this thing actually has two fuel tanks. Both of them are 320 liters. So combined 640 liters <laughs> of uh, fuel goes in there. Now, if it were completely bone dry and you went to the gas station, to fill the thing up it would literally cost over a grand now i paid five grand for this thing and to fill the thing up with fuel would cost one fifth of the value of the tractor that's pretty interesting but last time i put some fuel in here maybe i put like 50 liters in there so it should be somewhere here and as I don't see any leaks in the snow, uh, I guess it's not leaking out. Nice. Or the thing has completely just leaked out and it's empty by now. 
But remember when I tried to start the thing, it kind of stalled. It felt like it was starving for fuel and just died. Apparently by default it picks up fuel from the left tank, not from that one. So I filled up the backup tank. So, and this is the main tank, somewhere under here. Yeah, we got the tank hatch right there. So... I think that's gonna stay there forever. Or not. <laughs> Need C4 the freaking refuel Soviet equipment. What is up with that? I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's actually some fuel in there. And the fuel tank itself, it looks pretty, pretty good. Wow. Considering the amount of rust on this freaking tractor, the fuel tank actually looks really great. And the fuel in there is also pretty good. It's somewhere here, so it's not even empty. But I'm not sure if it's a winter diesel or regular diesel, so... Uh, I'm gonna add a bit of that uh, diesel cocaine in there and about 40 liters of winter diesel. Now this thing will improve the fuel quality and also it will make regular diesel into winter diesel. So that's the main reason I usually add that stuff. Somewhere here, maybe 100 liters in this tank. I may actually financially recover from this project. But anyway, guys, I think uh, let's just kind of wrap this one up now. Don't expect any news from this one. I'm not planning to continue the work in uh, this stupid ass weather, man. It's hopeless. It's just hopeless. Next year after winter, I'm gonna pick up the work. Hopefully by that time I will have some sort of a good pressure washer so I can go over it again. I mean, it looked that I did kind of clean it, but I, I think that yeah, I think that tiny washer did absolutely nothing to it. It's a complete waste of time. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks dirtier than uh, what it did before. Still leaking from here. Hmm. By the way, I may have an idea. Now, if I could get this running and moving, then I might park it into the tractor shed over there. Because let's be honest, working outside, it's not fun at all. At the current state though, it does not fit in here, sadly. The width is fine. The height is not, and the length is also not good enough. You know, the easiest option would be just to remove the gap. Then it would fit in there. And also the rear three-point hitch setup. Then it would fit in there, barely. So that would be an option I, I could uh, exploit if I wanted to work on it indoors. The other option would be to build some type of a proper workshop. I do have a dream, but I can't finalize that dream right now. It's still several years away. But anyway, guys, I think this one is set for the winter. It has winter diesel in both of its fuel tanks. It has some coolant in the coolant system. 
uh, still kind of mystery why I'm missing 20 liters of capacity but I guess we'll figure that bit out later I also changed out the uh, blinker fluid so that's winter also it's gonna take a while before I get the next update out on this thing so hopefully you guys will not go anywhere and we'll pick this up in the next episode but until then bye bye and I will see you in the next one. Ciao. So guys, I have a little bit of an update for you regarding the gearbeds. It's been about three, maybe four weeks now since I filled it up with coolant. You know, I'm really glad that I did. Apparently that type of coolant, that thing really likes to leak out. Even the Russians, man, they don't use it. They just prefer to use water because it just leaks out from everywhere. Now, during the three weeks time, I've been slowly batching up the leaks. Surprisingly though, everything I made up here is pretty much leak proof. And the coolant level is sitting somewhere here right now. So everything up here that I did is currently leak proof. I even managed to find a proper hose for this piece. Oh, and I painted the pipes black as well. You, where are you going? Huh. Who said? Anyway, I figured I should at least try to make it look good. So like I said, everything up here, pretty much leak proof now. I have not pressure tested it. I need to start the engine for that. But right now, as it's sitting, looking good. But down here, man, completely different story. Thing was leaking out from uh, basically everywhere. I had to put new hose clamps on it everywhere. And everything was just rotten. Well, yeah, completely rotten. I suppose the tractor is sitting for who knows how many years uh, near a salty sea. Did not do it any favors. The thing was just leaking out so badly. It was losing coolant faster than I could say. Where did that thing go? At least with snow I can uh, keep an eye on things if it still leaks out from somewhere. Also I installed this thing here, so kind of backup solution. I figured maybe someday I will drive over some branches or something. And what if a branch got this valve? It could very easily just flip it open. I would not even notice it. So I added this uh, quick hack solution here. It's just some uh, just some hose and a bolt with uh, Deflon tape on it. Something that I had on hand. So I will still give eye on this thing. Hopefully in the next episode. We can fire it up again, see how it performs. I am 1 billion percent sure there is some leaks somewhere. This is the last time I fired it up. I think there was an exhaust leak. So I'm not really sure, but I think it was on this side somewhere. So, yeah, definitely gonna have some leaks. So, that was the update. I'm gonna go now to a Christmas party. Gonna steal all the food.